I got a few pieces of news for you guys today that I'm really excited to share, including the fact that Next Level Games is working on F-Zero. Oh, some Metroid Prime news, and you know what? Let's throw a little bit of stuff about packs in there as well. But before we get into this three-pack of news that I'm really excited about, I want to let you know that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we could somehow get there by the time... Well, Tears of the Kingdom comes out on May 12th. We'll just give away a collector's edition of the game because why not? Why not celebrate that correctly? In fact, you know what? If we're even close to 100,000 subscribers, we'll probably just give it away. So why not hit that subscribe button, drop that like, and then go down in the comment section and let me know what you're most anticipating this year in gaming that isn't Tears of the Kingdom. All right. So the first story we're going to drop in right now has to deal with F. Zero. So I have discovered, I have come across, I have come in contact with people that have informed me that F-Zero GX Remaster, something we've previously reported on from other people, including our own sources, is actually in development by Next Level Games. This is really exciting for a number of reasons. Next Level Games, most people remember them for. All the Luigi's Mansion stuff they did, including the absolutely brilliant Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, they actually have two teams making two entirely different games. This first game, obviously, is F-Zero GX Remaster, which is incredibly exciting. We've been wanting F-Zero on Switch for so long in this sort of format. Improved visuals, probably online play as well, giving us another Nintendo multiplayer game for racing other than Mario Kart that's more modernized. Not that they haven't obviously included online modes with all their NSO games, but this isn't an NSO game. Getting that Metroid Prime Remaster style remake to me is absolutely incredible, and I'm excited for the team over at Next Level Games. I have a little bit of other news about Next Level Games in general. Apparently, after Luigi's Mansion 3, and you know there was that Nintendo acquisition, uh, the head honcho sort of left the company, and that led to you know a bunch of other... Uh, employees leaving the company. They didn't lose everybody, but they lost a good portion of their staff. They've actually been hiring. Almost all the current employees there have been advertising the hiring over the years. So yeah, Next Level Games, you know, they went through a little bit of a transition when Nintendo bought them. So it's not the exact team that we're used to from the past, but there's enough of the core members there that we should expect anything Next Level Games outputs to be absolutely incredible, including apparently F-Zero GX Remaster. So that's really exciting. Now, is it coming out this year? Is it coming out next year? That I have no information on. I can't really give you any more details on the source either. I understand this feels like a trust me, bro moment. Look, put your tinfoil ca caps on. Call me out if you want. I don't really know what you're calling me out for. You don't know either. So uh, when F-Zero comes out and you find out Next Level Games was the one behind it, just know you probably heard it first here at Nintendo Prime. All right, getting into our next story. We get to deal with a situation around Metroid Prime 4. Look, this game has been in development for a long time. It was announced at E3 2017. Of course, two years later, Nintendo infamously at this point rebooted the development and handed it to, back to Retro Studios, who made the first three Metroid Prime games. And we haven't heard anything about it since. Obviously, since then, we had a pandemic and, and other things going on. So maybe that's led to why we haven't seen anything. But we did get Metroid Prime Remaster just shadow dropped this year, which made people think maybe we should expect something from Metroid Prime 4. In fact, most people thought we the reason we hadn't heard about Metroid Prime Remaster is because they wouldn't dare mention Metroid Prime without showing Metroid Prime 4. Would they? Yeah. Turns out that's exactly what Nintendo did. So, when are we going to hear about Metroid Prime 4? Can we expect it soon? What did Nintendo have to say? Well, Nintendo brought it up unprompted. So, credit to Nintendo. Uh, this was not a, an interview question or anything crazy. Nintendo themselves brought it up because they put it in a user poll that someone shared on Twitter in relation to a game purchase. So, the poll, co the poll response simply says... Yeah, I'm playing this game just to pass time until Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Now, why would they put that in there? This is the overanalyzing I like to do. Why did they put that in there if they're not planning to have Metroid Prime 4 come out sometime in the next 12 months? Hey, we got to bide some time till that game comes out, baby. I, I, I have no idea why this was included. And this was from Nintendo UK, so it's a subsidiary of Nintendo. It's a marketing team. It's a company that handles these polls. I understand that maybe they're reading too much into this, 
But the fact that Nintendo officially asked this question and gave this response, that to me at least says something, that they haven't forgotten, it's still coming, and hey, maybe there's a fleeting idea we might see this game this year. Don't think it's coming out this year, but maybe it is. I I mean, what, what do we know after Pikmin anyways, right? Now, the last thing I want to talk about is PAX East. Uh, PAX East, Nintendo gave an update days ago about PAX East. If you didn't see it, there's no Zelda. I told you guys there wasn't going to be any Zelda. Nintendo confirmed there's not going to be any Zelda. It's unfortunate. Uh, but they did announce that there's going to be a whole bunch of multiplayer and versus things and tournaments, and you can actually enter to win a secret lab Nintendo versus arcade chair. In fact, here's the QR code. Uh, if you're interested in that, just literally put your phone up there, scan it, go enter. You can enter from home. You can also enter in person. But we're heading off to PAX East. We're going to be doing a live podcast from there. Not really sure where. Some people want it to be a poolside podcast. Some people want it to be live from the PAX show floor. I can tell you that won't happen because PAX has some really weird rules with filming certain things. But the bottom line is we are going to be at PAX. So there's a, a few pieces of content I just want to put you... Uh, perspective on and start getting your expectations going for uh we're gonna be doing vlogs i'm just gonna straight up say it right now we're gonna be vlogging our journey to pax east all the people we meet etc you're probably gonna see andres restart mike odyssey and all of the rest what i do want to note of course if you happen to spot me at pax east not only should you come up and say hi don't be afraid come say hi i'm a really friendly person so is eric so is everyone we're gonna be hanging out with just come up and say hi don't be afraid to come say hi if you want to be in the vlog we'll put you in the vlog uh you want to ask me some questions for the vlog cool maybe you want me to ask you some questions we could do all that have a pseudo mini interview it could be a lot of fun you will just have to let me know uh what you're thinking that being said I also want to note that that's not all we're doing. When we're at PAX East, sure, maybe we'll try to compete in some of those game tournaments. Yes, we're going to be going to all the booths. Yes, we're going to be doing lots of networking, maybe even some YouTuber after parties. We'll see about that. I heard there's a karaoke one. You guys know your boy is going to be uh, spitting it on the mic. But uh, that being said... We are going to be there to play games. Uh, that's the number one reason for this trip is to play games. We are going to be going around to every booth we can to find every Switch demo we can of every single indie game, AAA game, everything going on. We're going to try to find all of those Switch demos. We're going to be playing them, hands-on impressions. Uh, we'll be talking about you know the ones that impressed us the most. We're going to probably be putting footage up of some of the games. I just want to prepare you guys that when we go to these events, we tend to have a lot of video uploads because we'll upload individual clips of the games that we play, right? Like That's just something that we do. So I really hope that you guys uh, take advantage of that. Obviously, with our media passes, we'll see what else we can do. Maybe we end up getting some uh, details on a certain Zelda game from some Nintendo employees that might be there in person. Every now and then, you can uh, badger the right person, and they might be willing to just talk just a little bit. They're not going to give us everything, but just, just just a little bit. Even a little bit's good, but we've had this actually happen in the past at other media events, so maybe we'll get lucky, but... I obviously can't say that you should expect that. But, yeah, this trip is coming up. It's coming quick. It's it, We're literally leaving less than a week, heading on that plane, flying out, trying to transport basically the entire studio with us. It's going to be it's gonna be crazy. But uh, I hope to see you guys there, and I'll catch you in that next video. Yeah.